provide the blessings of Gurudev. By all of your blessings today, we will remember again what is Prema and how to reach it. And it is by the mercy of Srila Narottam Vastakur that he made such a essential book where we can always remember what is Prema, that is our goal, and how to reach it, how to practice for that, and how to also pray, and how to go into our meditations. So this verse today is a verse 79, and it is essential for this. Because if we cannot uh, remember what is our goal, then all our chanting will be like a zero. The zero, you can put millions of zeros, it will be very difficult to reach anything if you don't put the one. And you know, our Dayanidhi Das was giving this nice uh, video today or yesterday about the chanting and our Gurudev Narayan Maharaj, he was explaining also that we have to know what is the goal. Without the goal, we cannot reach it. Without that meditation in mind of Radha Mohan and their Lila, Guna, Rupa and Seva, it is very, very difficult to come to the next step. So today the verse goes about that subject. Radha Krishna Kurudyan Swapne na bolo an prema vina anana hichau yuga lakishora prema yena lakshapana hema aratta ati piriti rasedyau Meditate on Radha and Mohan and don't speak of anything else but them. Even in your dreams, don't desire anything else but Prema. The Prema of the Yugala Kishore is like gold, molten a hundred thousand times. Meditate on the Rasa of their deep attachment and love. So I'm reading and speaking this for my own purification and I'm praying to reach the lotus feet of Sri Radha Mohan, of service to Sri Radha Mohan, service to all the Vaishnavas and service to Sri Guru and Sri Goranga, of course. This is all connected, but sometimes it's good to remember how it is connected. This is the verse, this is the meditation and the prayer of Naratam Dastakur. He wants to meditate on Radha and Mohan and not speak of anything else but them, even in the dreams, in his dreams. So that is a very high, uh, how do you say, potency to, to be so absorbed that you can always, even in the dreams, churn and meditate and be absorbed because you know usually my dreams are not so one-pointed they reflect many things but not necessarily the Leela of Radha Mohan but I have a hope that one day they will do Gurudev gives us this hope and he says it's possible so I believe it I have trust and I have a hope because Gurudev gives me that hope I have a hope because I know there are Vaishnavas who are so absorbed and so deep that they want to even share their deepest feelings, like Naratam Das Thakur, like Rupa Goswami, like Raghunath Das Goswami, like all of them who are following the Goswamis and like our dear Gurudev also. And all our older and senior brothers and sisters who are maybe younger in years, but senior in Bhaja. So I want to summarize this uh, commentary because it's a quite long 
uh, commentary and it is not the first time that we are turning it. But I like it so much because in the Sunday class, Gurdiv was giving this example of how the Leelas, when they are coming in a flow, when, you know, we are inside of the memories of Radha and Mohan's Leela, how this is so tasteful. And then the flow comes that I can remember one Leela and then maybe another Leela comes. And that is um, by concentrating and um, practicing this remembrance. And then uh, Naratam Dastako is giving here also some uh, explanations how it is uh, coming about. And it is the commentary of Sri Vishwana Chakravati Taku. How is it that it comes about by anxious meditation? Anxious. And we had this subject before and I pray today that I become anxious, more anxious in my meditation. So that is the purification. If I am not anxious, if I'm not really mm, eager, mm, like like it would be important like birth uh, like death or like you know like somebody is lying on the deathbed and then you know it's it's we have anxieties because we want to somehow give this person also our best prayers our best wishes and we want to maybe help them also if it's uh, possible so that's anxiety it means a deep rooted uh, desire to participate, to help, and to help also myself, this soul, to come to that level of anxiety, eagerness, and how do you call it? Uh, urgency. Mm -hmm. Urgency is that word also. In German we say, we say Dringlichkeit. It is that, that feeling that I don't want to lose my time anymore. I want to do it. Let me always um, have it as my number one and not be living in the zeros. <laughs> so deep and specific concentration of the mind is called meditation or dhyan. And this meditation is the very life of spiritual practice. As a result of such deep contemplation and concentration of the mind, a very astonishing metamorphosis can take place, even of the external gross body. So here this uh, example is giving of the grass worm that we have heard before. There is like a situation that even an animal when it is in so much fear, it will transform to look like the animal that is uh, bothering it. But we know also nowadays, we take on the looks of someone we think alike and we meditate upon and we try to imitate the person's will love. And that comes not only by, by cheap meditation, it comes by deep contemplation. So he says, nicely meditating on Sri Radha Mohan's forms, attributes, pastimes and service is called Dhyan. Nicely means something is not only a little bit, but I really every, every minute of my day, every person I meet, any circumstances I have, I try to remember them and see my Radhika behind every situation. That is especially important that I remember I am the Dasi of Srimati Radhika and she is giving me this opportunity to remember her and to behave correctly always in the feelings of being her Dasi. And then Baba gives different, different uh, analysis of the Rupa, Guna, Lila and Seva Dhyan. So first this is the form, how they look so beautiful. And then this is the attributes, how they behave, how their character is so sweet. 
and the pastimes they have and on my service. So my service as an aspiring Dasi of Srimati Radhika is always focused on her desires. So I remember especially also her form, her Leela, or try to remember the Leelas of those who are already absorbed in the Leelas like Raghunath Goswami or Rupa Goswami. But I think as Gurudev has given us, especially by the mercy of his Gurudev and his, you know, Gurudev and all these Dasis who have already come to bless us, it's all about Srimati Radhika and it's all about remembrance of the verses of Vilapa Kushmanjali and also Shishi Radha Rasuda Nidhi. May the sweetness of Shri Shri Radha and Mohan, who are shining with a golden and bluish splendor, whose eyes are dancing in a spotless festival of play, who are anointed with endless cleverness in erotic artistry, and who are greatly delighted by the nectarian fragrance of their mutual love attack my mind in all respects. So this is a very astonishing sentence. May this witness of Shirada and Mohan who are shining with a golden and bluish splendor. So they have a bluish and a golden bodily shining aura or luster. It's called luster most of the time. But for myself, when I try to remember that, I see in every blue and every gold a shining light of love from Srimati Radhika. She has the blue eyes and her heart is golden and she is always immersed in golden colored Mohan. I mean bluish colored Mohan. And she makes him golden, that's also true. Because by her love, by her embrace, he will become golden. And we know the example of the grass worm. But I like this example even much better when even Mohan becomes golden when he is embraced by our Swamini. He likes her embrace so much that he will take on her color. And not only her color, he wants to realize that golden heart of Srimati Radhika, that golden love of Srimati Radhika. That's why he comes as Goranga, as Gorasundara. Shirati. So, here he is, and he also wants to become golden, golden hearted, golden minded. And even Krishna Mohan wants to be golden. And that's, I think, one of the greatest transformation as an example for us. So when he came as Gora, with the limbs of Gorangi all over him, he was absorbed to find someone to help him to remember, how does Srimati Radhika love me? So that's why Swarup Damoda and all the other devotees, all the Goswamis finally, their service was to help Goranga come in contact with the feelings of Gorangi. So that is actually the greatest metamorphosis that even Krishna wants to accomplish. He was not satisfied to be embraced by Shimadhi Radhika in the Kunj, he wants to melt and merge into her feelings that he also can become Goranga, golden, shining and so melted out of compassion 
for all the living entities. That's why everyone who was bringing a poem, they had to be checked by Swarup Namada because Swarup Namada knew the desire on Gauranga Sundara's heart. Because Swarup Namada is Lalita and she knows what Radha and Mohan want. So she was checking the poetry and the, the prayers of all devotees who tried to make uh, Gauranga very happy and uh, the only happiness that he was looking for especially in his Gambira Lila, was to come closer to the feelings of Srimati Radhika and also of her Dasis. That's why when he was going to the uh, ocean and completely immersed in Srimati Radhika's feelings, he had this meditation that he saw himself as a Dasi picking flowers on the order of the bigger gopis to decorate the kunj or to bring them to Radha Mohan. So we see that even Mohan, even Krishna wants to become golden, wants to immerse himself in the feelings of this devotion that Srimati Radhika has for him. And she is expert in these devotional surprises for him. She knows how to make him golden because her golden love, her golden color, her golden qualities are never ending. And Radha and Mohan, they are anointed with endless cleverness. And they are greatly delighted by nectarian fragrance of their mutual love. So their love is not one-sided. Their love is always at every step increasing each other. Sometimes in this material world we want to love someone. And it's difficult because the love is not always two-sided. And many, many Humans, we suffer from this because we want to love so much. But it is also our Swamini's mercy because she says, you want to love? Love me. Come, I invite you. I have so much love for you and I have so many services for you. And this love between you and me is not one-sided. It is also mutual. And that's why the Dasis of Srimati Radhika they have the closest, the closest services to Swamini when she is giving her golden feelings to Mohan. So Radha and Mohan's sweet forms are resplendent over, over, over flooding with bright golden and blue luster. Which means that Sri Radha's aura or shining form that resembles molten gold and Sri Krishna's blue color that resembles sapphires illuminate the horizon. What is the meaning of illuminating the horizon? My horizon will be illuminated. I was thinking one side also the mind, all the perception will be illuminated. But also they illuminate our world every day. When we see the sun is going up, there's a golden and then comes a bluish shining. Sometimes they also become orange. So they illuminate the whole world with their love. They embrace the blue and the gold. They are embracing us. They are inviting us like in Mahamantra. Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. When they are in their golden and blue sapphire embrace, they want to invite us also into that love service. 
and our horizon will be broadened. That is the powerful meditation on Shishi Radha Mohan's pastimes, on the qualities, on the forms. And according to the mercy that I have, that we all get from listening, it will be deeper and deeper and deeper because they themselves illuminate our horizon. That's how I feel it. Maybe Gopina, do you have some feelings for how they illuminate the horizon? <laughs> Oops, you are not <laughs> audible. Uh, actually, I was just out. I just came back and I heard my name. I said, like, wow, Suni Didi. <laughs> Please illuminate us. Okay, yes, I would like to ha hear of how you feel it when you listen to this. Shimati, Radha and uh, Mohan's sweet forms are resplendent with bright golden and blue luster. Which wow. means that yeah. Shirada's luster, they are fully like now together. And Sri Radha's luster resembles molten gold. And Radha and, and Mohan's blue luster that resembles sapphires, they illuminate the horizon. Bah, Guru, the, the illumination. illumination. <laughs> <laughs> This is the mantra, Guru. Yes. Wow. Great, great. So <laughs> Good. This Go is all the... <laughs> this is all the mercy of Baba. That to feel and live in that. There is nothing exists without golden man. Blue, nothing. The meaning of the whole world is together when they become together, golden and blue. Yeah. That is such a deep meditation, Guru. And actually, this meditation is endless. And it is like we can see it then everywhere when we meditate on this, how Srimati Radhika is golden and uh, Mohan is blue and how they together illuminate everything. This is it's, an universal truth and universal love. When my eyes become so pure, then we no need to talk anything, <laughs> even in the dream. Only this to meditate. Why? Why to think that the thing is all giving us pain to deviate from the real world with the thing that Yes. You can work on this feeling, you can serve in the feeling, you have to live with this feeling all the time. For this feeling to be on, we need Mahamantra to be in our way in the chanting of the mantra, to be alive in this thing, living in this thing. This feeling will bring us for chanting the mantra. And Mahamantra will bring in this feeling to us. Yeah. Thank you, Gurudev. So nice how you connected. Yeah. That is the feeling, and then Mahamantra will keep on with the feeling. And I can live in these feelings and nourish them feelings when I meditate on the bluish and golden luster of Radha Mahan 
and in universal love, like what if you said that it, it is like for the whole world and for universes and you know, and also it becomes personal. It's 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 them. It's not only a love that pervades the whole universe. It's them in their divine embrace, in their divine dances, and in their divine love. Radhe Radhe. Yes. And it's come to me that usually when we are looking to the horizon, we are thinking about uh, the goal of our, our life. So the, looking to the horizon is to, to see the goal of our life. In this case also, but the center of the goal of our life. Yes. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. Wonderful, Dayanidhi. This is the, this is the first week. We hear from our Gurudev and from all the Mahajans about the beautiful form and color of Radha Mohan. And then it becomes universal and then it becomes visible and, f f you know, we feel it everywhere. So Dayanidhi is saying that every morning when I see the sun go out, uh, arising, then it feels that Radha and Mohan are rising in my heart, in my mind, in my feelings, in my words. I want to uh, praise them every day and there I want to put all my love. That's what Gurudev says, otherwise everything else seems to be a waste of time, a waste of energy. And all living entities, we love them also as parcels of Radha Mohan as servants of the Divine. You said one word to me that Dan is talking about Narayan Maharaj and he said this about the Mahamantra. The meaning of Mahamantra is this in yes. beginning. And this is the reality. It touched the heart of that this is the divinity that you cannot dream anything else than that. And then to talk out of this is a waste of the time. Yes. Waste so your time lesser and lesser and keep your mind in this. How you Practice, this is to practice to how to waste my time lesser and less in other subjects. I feel when you say this to all of us, you are blessing us with this. So I feel very happy hearing you. Narayan Maharaj, who shared this. Yes. What, you are, what is the line of teaching of Narayan Maharaj, repeat and it will be more better. Yes, it was the video that Nayanidi was sending to our Radha Dasyam group. It so, repeat this first. He said that if we have the Mahamantra and we are not living in the Mahamantra not knowing that you know, deep meaning of the confidential meaning of Mahamantra is like a zero. We have many zeros, we are chanting, chanting, chanting. But if we don't come to the point of being a Rupanuga, Vaishnava, and living in the feelings of our Goswamis, who are all Dasis of Srimati Radhika, and developing this mood, this bhav, this feeling, our chanting will be like a zero. And he was giving all these examples of all, you know, beautiful Vaishnavas who are chanting Mahamantra. He said, you can go to Mathura, you can go become a Dvarakadasi. You can, you know, there's many places where we can be in Krishna's Leelas. If we are chanting Mahamantra without, you know, having the feeling of Brajabhav. He was pointing out that very, very few, very, very few out of the many devotees who are chanting Mahamantra, they go into the deep feelings of Brajabhav, 
of the, the, uh, being a Dasi of Srimati Radhika and being, you know, the servant of Radharani and of her Mohan. That was the deepest point that he made in that video. We should chant knowing what we are chanting and to who we are chanting. Otherwise, our chanting will not guide us to the supreme goal of becoming a Brajabasi. <laughs> <coughs> we can be a Mathura Vasi, an inhabitant of Mathura or Dvaraka, or we can go to Ayodhya. He said many, many, many goals are possible. But, like you always teach us Gurudev and Raghunath Das Goswami also, and uh, Prabodananda Saraswati Thakur, and all our Guru Vargas, if we want to take the mercy of Gauranga, we need to go to the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika and become a Dasi. <laughs> you, your voice is off, Gurudev. Narayan Maharaj teaching us, Rupa Nuga means Mahaprabhu, followers. In Rupa Nuga, in Manjari Bhav practice, Rupa Nuga means not Raga Nuga. Rupa Nuga, Rupa Nuga means who is practicing Radha Dasi Bhav, they are Rupa Nuga. Very strictly, Narayan Maharaj says Rupa Nuga. Sometimes he says, we are not Raga Nuga, we are Rupa Nuga. Means specifically, no other relation. No other relation, no Sakha Bhav, no other Bhav, Vasari Bhav, Rupa Nuga, Manjari Bhav. This, this is the mercy of Narayan Mahavali. And also of Sadhu Maharaj. No, I am following his guidelines. I learn from him and I practice that. Mahajan Gattasa. They are all Mahajan. Mercy of Radha Govinda Das Babaji Gauri. He gave me to realize and feel it. His disciple has no mercy. They don't understand. They still not understand. They become guru but no understand. They don't want to be Manjiri house Asmi. So what to do? Is the mercy without realization not good? I like to share one, one thing, what you gave me, Gurudev. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Some weeks ago you told me, make Kunja. When I ask you for one project we are doing, then you say, make Kunja. And actually now I understand that to make Kunja is actually a place where Radha and Mohan can meet. And yeah. we can make this Kunja in our heart by meditation and also outside. We can make Kunja in our uh, home or in a temple we are building or in our garden. Yeah. And then it's more easy if we follow you in this to make Kunja, like you make your Kunja, Radha Mohan Kunja in Vrindavan. Then we have many places to sit where they can meet, where we can decorate, and uh, where they can come together. And this is a very beautiful instruction I can feel now. And today I, I got, uh, I gave this inspiration also to all other senior devotees because we actually don't know so exactly what to do around the temple. And then I said, why not make like Kunja? 
and that now they are very inspired to create something like this, like sitting place and a yeah. nice uh, pavilion with for meeting for Radha Mohan. That's it. So and yeah, the and it's. No? So inside and outside, we create Kunja, a place for meeting for Rata and Mohan. Thank you, Gurudev. I, I only like to share this instruction from you. This was very, very inspiring now. Means I, my mind is only seeing to you. Outside or inside, I see only you. So I make Kunja outside and inside. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I ask yoga teach. Then people, uh, people say me, in Mahaprabhu yoga teach is Srivasana. I say, where is the yoga teach of Vrindavan? Then they say, is a yoga teach is rug. Go in the temple. I say, why? Because this is the original place. So, what is the meaning of yoga? Pita? What is your Easter day is staying that is your yoga? Pita? So, so, so ask to me, what is this yoga? Pita? Mm -hmm. Then I say, my best and my Radha Mohan, this is my yoga. <laughs> Where I will meditate? I will go to meditate outside, not here. Mm -hmm. I will meditate here. Mm. All details appear of my Radha Mohan Yoga, which where they are sitting, that is my Yoga. This is their Kunja. That is their Kunja. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I yoga with outside, then my meditation will not hear. Mm. <laughs> then I am <from> nowhere. <laughs> yes, it's a meeting point, and they meet. I think first of all they meet in the in this uh, in the heart, Gurudev, and they meet also in our consciousness. There, Kunja. That is, you have to fix first in the East form, in yes. the Krishna form, Bt form, and then they will they will come out from the your DT. They expand. That is is the hard root. Nothing will happen without East Dev not meditation. Yes. No space, yeah. no space for meeting. <laughs> DT, DT has to be formed and they will open their covering when they will start loving to us. The wow. Istadev, your my Adamon is my Istadev and their form will automatically, they will open me and they will show divine form everywhere, jit de in golden and the blue colors. When they will give mercy of love to me. That is the realization. And this is the kripa of Mahirada Govindas Mahaji Guru Maharaj. That he opened my vision and realization. Jai Ho Yes, the first is the Ishta Nishta. If there is no Ishtanista, Sarup Nista will come and Guru Nista will not come. Ishtanista, then Sarup Nista, then Guru Nista. When these two things, what is impossible in my life, you realize it, then Guru, you cannot far from your spiritual master. Its realization makes closeness of Eastern Guru Nista. If not, then Guru Sadha is there. 
doubtful faith. Mm. Not faith, doubtful. Are, he can do also human-like behavior. He has also material desire. No, many things I will see. Good and bad I will see. Always judging. Judging. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I was thinking that uh, Guru Nista come before Svarupa. Uh, He's also okay. Yeah. Good. Sorry. Uh, how can we have uh, Svarupa Nista when, when we don't have uh, the Svarupa yet. Svarupa is the Nesha, is a divine faith. In, you believe in the wooden key that he is Almighty. Everything comes. It's not a good thing. A stone, a statue, or any wooden uh, you start believing this is a very great faith. And then they open the You know? When this is there, they come out from that. They reveal from that divinity that yes, they are talking, they are sharing everything. Mm -hmm. Then the root will come. Oh, I realize my inner soul consciousness who has a relation with that. Then we will realize that this is all happening because my there was no my efforts in between that happening. If it's not happening, it's all material belief. There is no inside connection. Just people say, I believe it, but nothing my realization. My life can will only come when reality is there. Thank you. Very nice question, Karuna Saga. Huh? I said, very what? nice question of Karuna Saga, Gordi. So Radha and Mohan, when we develop the, the Ishta Nishta, they illuminate our horizon also. Like Guru oh, said. My Swarup. Yes, my Swarup. My reality. Before it was my reality was plastic body, sensing journey. And when they give their light and their love, and when we give our services, then the transformation takes place. And Gurudev also give the mercy that there will be a channel, a pipeline of love, like a direct call, a local call. That is the result, and all our activities will be in the spirit of this service, of this love, and of the sharing of the love. And then we can serve, Gurudev, and then we serve in every moment. So their wonderful bodies are both surrounded by the endless expertise of the pastimes of Madanakya Mahabhav. 
which means that their bodies, their two bodies are entwined by the symptoms of Madana, such as embracing and kissing, that are of endless wonderful sweetness. Sri Sri Radha Mohan's bodies are anointed with mutual love, just as the bodies of other heroes and heroines may be anointed with kumkum and sense that enchant all the people. May the indescribable sweetness of Radha and Mohan's combined form awaken in my heart in such a way that there will not be the slightest other perception. You see, read again this one. Is a beautiful understanding. If we understand, is a Guru Kripa. Guru Kripa, yes. May the indescribable sweetness of Radha and Mohan's combined form awaken in my heart in such a way that there will not be the slightest other perception. You see, only this line exists. This is Ananda's power must. Underline this line. Yes. And try to explain this. So this, this, the sweetness of the indescribable form when Radha and Mohan are together, they are entwined in the divine embrace. It is so indescribable. And when that awakens in my heart or in anybody's heart, in such a way that is really deeply, deeply uh, like it will never it will never leave there anymore then we cannot perceive anything else that we can see only radha mohan we see in everything radha mohan we see everywhere their divine play their divine um, service we see everything as their uh, arrangement as their when we always try to do everything in that feeling like we know that the mandaris always are more happy when 12 and 12 are together. That is the perfection of the half. So when this feeling becomes so present in the heart, means in every, every feeling, in every thought, in every word, then this is actually our Swarup Nishta. Because our beings are there for serving them, bringing them together, feeling them together, and to see the whole world in that light, that they are everywhere also. And they are blessing all the divine, like we said, when the sunshine is rising and the colors golden and blue come, then I don't think, oh, it's a beautiful day. I think Radha and Mohan, how can they meet today? They are meeting. They want to meet. And how can I assist? How can I serve in that feeling the whole day through? How, like Aura said, how we can arrange the kunj? That is, like Gurudev said, the Guru Kripa, then this feeling is going, you know, like a constant nishta means firm, fixed feeling. And then we can learn to live in that feeling as much as possible. And when it becomes so intense that we don't see anything else anymore, then it is Guru, Guru Kripa and we are living in our Swarups and our spiritual eternal reality. You want to share on this, Gopina? Mm, just being carried away, really, by your beautiful 
description of this uh, line which Gurudev has emphasized that this we have to practice and uh, yeah this is the culmination of the calm guide you know when 12 and 12 are entwined and the half is seeing exactly it's the dna what you said one time no this is becomes the dna when radha and mohan are entwined so this is the dna of our inner practice that this becomes our reality that we only see this entwinement everywhere and yeah what more to say than just to to relish and, and try to practice and absorb this no like to internalize and i feel my my gora is a, an example who has who has this dna and uh I'd like to listen also from from, from, from others Yes, I think it is uh, clear what Gurudev wants to say that to live in that means living in Maha Mantra, means living in Kam Gayatri. That is the goal of our meditation. Always this embrace, this golden and blue embrace and serve to bring this about to take all obstacles also as merciful service help others to come into that feeling cultivate that feeling in myself and be with my my brothers and sisters who are also desiring that to feel that more and more and to serve my gurudev so that this guru kripa will come because it is mercy also. I can talk about it, I can read it, but to feel it, it's a mercy. It's, le it's In the end, it's Srimati Radhika's mercy that she is sending us the Dasis and the devotees who are in these feelings and who are desiring these feelings and who already feel them everywhere. So if a little bit of this glimmering, shimmering mercy of the pores of that prema will come, then our lives are perfect. May the indescribable sweetness of Radha and Mohan's combined form, it's a combined form, right? Combined. They are anangam now. Awaken in my heart. end in such a way that there will not be the slightest other perception that is actually perfection of our madhuri bhav sadhana when this happens because the mandaris they have only one desire they want to bring them to the kunj they want to fulfill their desire and that is their desire to meet and to become one. Mandri, they are fixed in Easter there. Our nature fixed in material. Yes. Mind is to mix up with the material. No stopping. If A comes, then we start thinking B. B starts and C. Is that this is not a good thing. We have to stop someplace. Then I can go in now. Huh? 
Yes, this can only happen when the mind is completely akantic, one-pointed, and not always... Yeah. You do, you keep your mind out, but do, done, and go back. Yes. And then no create new projects. This is a cancer. Again, some project comes, do it. Go out and do and come back. But not at that moment you start calculating other things. See, done. How to, that I say always, I say is going to, and it is not bad. But it's staying in the toilet is so bad. Living in the toilet is very bad. Very bad. So we are living in the toilet by thinking material things. That has to come out. Living in toilet has to stop. We want to live in Radha Mohan's embrace and serving that Guru. Radhe, Jai Radhe, living in my Ist Nistha, Sarup Nistha and Guru Nistha. In this area we have to give time. We need it for some material work because material body has to keep it but not living in there, that's the point. Yes, Means, we do all, all our duties, but not yes, living in there. But no involvement outside all the time. Yes, we don't identify with that. Yeah, to working one to one, one to one, one to one. I want to control, I want to manage, I want to hold it. <laughs> Who I am to control, I am. I am Just a half. Then I manage. You are not a doer. Is that that to change? If I'm a doer, then I have to get the result of this. Hmm? Right? Yes, if I think I am doing it, then it will be karma, Gurudev. But if I am being used and it happens and I do it as a service, then I'm but, doing seva. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. This practice has to careful. We care outside. And we never work inside. And this is Padam Bhakti. To watch full to inside us, inside me, what is wow, how I am moving myself. That is our homework and it's called self reflection. In this and sadhana, sadhana Bhakti. This is Sadhana Bhakti what to do to make myself keto darpanam marjanam, to make myself pure. And we become most pure, Gurudev, if we always carry that golden light with her bluish lover and that feeling in my heart, then they purify everything, Gurudev, because they are more pure 
That's what Baba Yisabawa says, and thousand times gold uh, melted. That you meditate in this, that is in is the is the upper uh, mana. Uh, it's coming, light coming from them. Yes. If they are not there, no light is there. If they are not there, this vision is not there. Right. So, for the end, because now I think it comes to the point of, yes, the Kirtan class. Again, once time, this beautiful sentence for, for all of us to go deep by the mercy of Guru Nishta and Ishta Nishta. May the indescribable sweetness of Radha and Mohan's combined form awaken in my heart in such a way that there will not be the slightest other perception. Jai Jai Shri Radhe.